Scanlon seek recognition. I move to strike the last word. Gentlelady is recognized. Thank you. I'm so proud to support Congresswoman McBath's bill, the Federal Extreme Risk Protection Order Act. I'm also proud to align myself with parents, family members, mental and public health experts, law enforcement, in seeking this common sense gun safety measure. You know, about two thirds of all gun deaths annually are suicides in Pennsylvania, gun suicides, I'm sorry. Um, in Pennsylvania, that's about a thousand people we lose every year to gun suicide. 17 veterans die by suicide each day, and in Pennsylvania, 70% of those veterans who commit suicide use a firearm. In the states that have enacted extreme risk protection order laws, those measures have proven to be an effective tool in preventing firearm suicides. And studies have shown that a large number of people subject to these acts actually seek and receive mental health treatment as a result of these interventions when they may not have otherwise. We've heard from some of our colleagues' stories of folks who are not seeking to kill themselves but to kill others. We have to take action. The situation as it stands now is not tenable. I have to reject the crazy mischaracterizations we're hearing across the aisle of these acts being unconstitutional. Um, challenges to extreme risk protection acts generally are not succeeding, and this bill has been carefully crafted to comply with the Constitution. I also am shocked at the idea that one would substitute dep deprivation of individual liberty to uh, commit people to mental health institutions, as has been suggested, as a, some kind of preferable alternative to the short-term um, removal of dangerous weapons from someone who is at risk to themselves. And as for this idea that there's no due process consideration here, th that's also a fiction. There are multiple levels of pro due process available here to someone who is adjudged, first of all, upon sworn testimony by a judge to um, be, that there's probable cause that such a person um, might be a risk to themselves or others because of the guns they, pr they possess. And then there is opportunity for that person to challenge that judgment. I mean, there's multiple levels here. There's high standards. Um, I think it's a carefully crafted bill, and we need to move forward. In the past four or five years, we've seen 40% of our states and the District of Columbia um, pass some version of extreme risk protection acts. That's not enough. In Pennsylvania, we've had both Republican and Democratic legislators um, propose such legislation but the number of our legislators who are still in thrall to the NRA and refuse to even pass constitutional, common sense gun safety measures is still so strong. So if the states are not going to act to protect our citizens, then Congress must do so. At a time when mental health issues are on the rise, it's more important than ever to create a federal uh, extreme risk protection order law. We need to ensure that people nationwide have access to this life-saving measure to help those in their lives who may be threatening harm against themselves and others. We have to give people an avenue that if they see something, they can say something and have it be heeded, unlike what we saw in the Parkland shooting, unlike what we saw in El Paso. In so many cases, suicide or a mass shooting is preventable, and this bill provides short-term protection to those in crisis so they can get the support they need and keep themselves, their loved ones, and their communities safe. I urge all of my colleagues to support the bill, and I look forward to passing it out of committee today and moving it to the House floor as quickly as possible. I yield back. General Lady yields back for what purposes, Mr. Issa seek recognition.